So I'm sitting at my desk right now and I want to show you exactly step by step how to fulfill orders on the desk right here and you can watch me actually do this. Russell Brunson, and we're gonna start the timer here. I'm a little empty on the coffee, so. All right, we are back. So a full cup of coffee, we're gonna make use out of this. As we can see here, there's an order on here that where there's a person inquiring, can you send me a PayPal invoice? So even with the buy button, even though that there's a buy button, you can actually still fulfill orders through Messenger. So here's a person right now that's saying, can you send me a PayPal invoice? And I'll say, sure, and I'll minimize that. And then here we got some orders to fulfill. You can see that uh, we're shipping on here and I got a couple more that I need to do. So what I do is I actually click on the order, get their shipping information. And uh, this is what it looks like when you need to fulfill orders. So what I'm going to do is go through Amazon. Like I said, you can fulfill orders through Amazon. And what we're going to do is see here, we can see the listing price is $16.88. Let's do the math on that if we can. So let's see here, let's get on the whiteboard. $29. Minus sixteen dollars and eighty-eight cents, which equals so equals twelve dollars and twelve cents profit. So twenty-nine dollars sixteen eighty-eight equals twelve dollars. Amazing. So let's fulfill the order. So what we're gonna do is add the cart. Proceed to check out. And then we're gonna change the shipping address. And we're gonna use the customer's information. So here, coffee. Let me take a drink of the coffee. Now the most important thing is that we want to say, we want to send in gift mode. This item is a gift. Facebook Marketplace, here, here, and it's good. So then we say place the order. Look, how, how are we doing on the time? Looks good from Facebook Marketplace. Place the order, and boom, we are done. We are done. So the order's been placed, which is really awesome. And like I said, when we go here, when we get the shipping information, we're gonna click mark as ship. And when we click mark as ship, that's where we're gonna select the carrier and we're going to enter the tracking number. There's some more tips in other videos as far as what if Amazon doesn't give you the tracking number. If that happens, use, use FedEx as a default and enter the Amazon tracking number and that works just as well. So that gave us, so we have the $12 and actually it was a little bit less, but if we, if we multiply this 19 orders, so 19, $12 and 12 cents. What's the math on that? Actually, I'm gonna have to use a calculator on that one. Let's use a calculator on that one. So we got 19 times 12.12. .12. That equals $238, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty awesome, folks. All right, let me know if you guys like this kind of video, and if you do, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and there'll be more videos like this to come. questions I said uh, did you get sales on your first day and then he's like yes sir first day I listed five products one product had two sales instantly and another one posted no more than 24 hours I already had nine sales making a $15 profit each so if you do the math that's $135 so when I talk about $100 days boom he's a pass on the first day